Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, most markets are still relatively flat this morning, uh, heading into the uh, Easter weekend. And as you can see there, we are still uh, quite close to potential resistance at 16401. And the markets are probably expected to be relatively listless today uh, up until the end of the session uh, as people begin to shore up positions over the long weekend. Uh, so do bear that in mind. So if I have a look at the UK 100 right there, um, it's not quite so good incidentally, so it's kind of like a span itself around. We're trading below 65.81. Um, that 21 period SMA seems to be providing some short term potential resistance. Um, if there is a, a protracted sell off later on in today's session, uh, and the US market didn't look that bad, but the UK 100, this isn't a great formation that we're seeing right here. The next potential support is at 65.19. Um, looking at the Japan 225, I can see dollar yen, a little bit of yen buying um, overnight, which is probably capping that uh, Japan 225. As you can see there, it's also been capped by that 21 period SMA, so potential support at 14219. Um, looking at dollar yen, it'd be a very similar um, package right there. Um, it's reversed its gains slightly. Also, 55 period SMA cap, <coughs> bounced off potential support at 101 spot 80. Um, and that level looked to be relatively strategic today. And if we have a look at gold, it's kind of a bit flat. If look, this is actually very interesting formations that we've seen right here. Uh, again, yesterday, um, breaking, oh, this is West Texas, sorry. Uh, West Texas, we're actually hitting potential uh, resistance at 105, and that potential support is still remains at 103. Very volatile sessions. I can see from my daily point, my daily chart, span up and then sold off right away. I think um, Ukrainian crisis, uh, the Ukrainian crisis will continue to be a major driver of the price action for West Texas crude, and we are ticking up slightly higher today. And uh, you know, heading into this like kind of long weekend, um, you know, people might be taking a view as to the uh, the potential for escalation in Eastern Ukraine at the moment as well. So let me actually jump on to gold this time. I was thinking I had that fifty dollar move and I didn't see it in that last chart but you can see this huge titanic sell off that we had right there. Um, we are seeing a little bit of dollar weakness creeping in to be honest uh, and that's not really helping gold which you would normally expect it to be the case and um, with all this uncertainty right now um, like some of the results uh, overnight were okay so obviously uh, Yahoo did quite quite good but Bank of America's results were not that great. Um, I would have expected there to be a little bit of extra interest in gold, but that's certainly not looking the case. So we're, we're, we've got this death cross here in the moving averages. We're trading below both sets, capped by the 21 period SMA, and we're bouncing off potential support at 12.95, the next potential support at 12.67. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see how gold reacts. Uh, we have been seeing that bit of yen buying, so that looks to be the safe haven of choice right now, and, uh, and gold's in the back foot. <laughs> so looking at euro dollar, uh, that's a little bit of a resurgence after the sell-off a few days ago, um, but potential resistance remains at 38.63, and we're approaching that at, at the moment. And as cable that most tra FX traders will be looking at today, as we look to be rechallenging potential resistance at 68.20, and in fact we're trading above that right now, and that was in the back of uh, a real good unemployment figure from the UK um, that was released yesterday, and um, it's not. Um, a smashing breakout, but it's on the right side of the line right now. Um, so that that looks to be pretty good. Uh, cable's not been above 68.20 for some time. In fact, <clears throat> let me go on to a weekly chart and we'll see if we can actually identify when that last point was. Uh, it's certainly a multi-year high uh, that we're at just now. So you're looking at all the way 2009 would be the last time uh, that we've been as high as that. And uh, to put that into context, that's pretty much bang on the line right there. And if we take the tip of this candle here, this is the high point of 2009. I'm going to slip back onto the daily interval right now. So you can see there, I'm going to actually remove this one because it's so close to our existing breakout. Um, so next next potential technical target might be uh, one spot 70. And that would be the highest that cable's been since 2009. I'm actually going to save that on there. Uh, very interesting information. So economic data release-wise, we do have jobless claims at 1.30 today, and the Philly Fed uh, data due at 3 o'clock. So 1.30 and 3, that's your uh, US data, and there's not going to be much over the next couple of sessions because it's obviously the Easter weekend, uh, Good Friday, and um, you have to actually fast forward on to the 21st, the Japanese data, 
you have to go on the 22nd, nothing great, 23rd, okay? And the 23rd is actually Wednesday next week before you have anything decent. Um, and even then, Chinese, German, UK data, actually a fair amount of data on Wednesday next week. So be, um, I guess the way to look at this is to see how the markets kind of unravel um, throughout the rest of the day. Uh, and if we're actually going to get a, a little bit of a sell-off towards the end of the session as we head into that 4 db weekend. Keep it on the chart forum as ever and make sure your insights part your layout and join me again on Tuesday to find out what happened next.